check in with Bill now. We've had some overnight issues. Yeah, got a little bit of problems here eastbound I-70 at uh, just before Sterling is where we're looking at. We had an overnight accident. It was closing down the highway. You can see, though, eastbound traffic is starting to get by it now here that the accident scene is clear. But we we'll take you back over here. This is at eastbound I-70 at 435. You can still see activity here as that traffic is either being directed onto northbound 435 or onto Blue Ridge Cutoff. This should be wrapped up here pretty soon, and you'll have that eastbound lanes back open, but some traffic getting by, other traffic is still being diverted over onto northbound 435 or Blue Ridge Cutoff. 40 Highway is your alternate for the time being until they reopen that stretch. Joe? Okay, thank you, Bill. And uh, that breaking news regarding that crash is heartbreaking and terrible. We know one person is dead after it. Police tell KCTV5 it was raining when it all happened. Jessica Reyes is near I-70 in Sterling with the latest details. Jess. Yes, well, I'm right next to those eastbound lanes that were shut down for several hours. As you can see, though, those lanes have just reopened and we're now just starting to see traffic once again after it was shut down again for several hours overnight. But if you go ahead and take a look at this video, this was shot a few hours ago. You can see there were several vehicles that were actually involved in this accident that happened around one o'clock this morning. We've learned it started when a red pickup truck stalled in the center of the lane when it was rear-ended by a silver Toyota. Then the Toyota was hit by an SUV and later another pickup truck uh, was uh, also involved in the crash because it hit some of the debris that was on the road. This makes a total of four vehicles that were involved. Now police have told us that the man in that first pickup truck that sold has died. We've also learned that uh, the person in the Toyota was hurt but is expected to be okay. Now police have not told us if the accident was weather related, but we do know that it was raining when that accident happened. Now again, the interstate was shut down since around one o'clock this morning, but in the past few minutes it is now all clear and the interstate is back open. Reporting live in Kansas City, I'm Jessica Reyes, KCTV 5 News.